Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make an easy game in Excel so that you can develop your Excel spreadsheet skills. The first thing we need to do is develop um, six to nine questions and I've done three, three different types, a math question and a couple of questions, a question about uh, cheese and a yes or no answer question so that you can use them after you've uh, developed the game. So the first thing I do is open a new spreadsheet. The first step is to make a background which will be repeated all over the worksheet. And to do that, we click on Page Layout Background, and we choose a topic. And in this case, it's probably best to choose a photo that's somewhere between 300 by 300 in any of that range, or 200 by 400 because you'll see by selecting this photo, it repeats at a fairly good size. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to be able to develop our spreadsheet skills by moving um, these grid lines across two blocks of our cheese so that we've got a cheese that's going to be revealed by answering the questions on this side of the grid. And that will become apparent in a minute. So the first thing you do is we want a grid of two across by three down over each cheese. So we're going to move the A lot, the line between A and B to halfway across the cheese. And then we're going to move the line between B and C to the edge of the photo. And we're going to repeat that with C to halfway over the cheese and D to the end of the photo. So we've moved two, our uh, grid to two columns over this block of cheese and two columns over this block of cheese. Again, we're going to do the same thing with between the one and the two, and you'll notice how the icon turns from a cross to an up and down cross only with two ways showing. So there's going to be three grid lines here, so we're going to do this in thirds. So between one and two, we'll go down one third, between two and three, down one third, approximately, and you can adjust this on your own. Then between three and four, to the bottom of the picture. So you can see now, that we've got six uh, rectangles over this block of cheese and six rectangles over this block of cheese. Now you might want to even them up a bit. This one looks like it's a bit bigger, so we'll move that. And then we have the next step. The next step, is to be able to use grid lines uh, by highlighting from the middle of A, and this is difficult because sometimes people click and drag from here, which highlights the whole column. We don't want to do that. We only want to choose A1 in the middle, drag straight across to D, then straight down to D3, and let go. Now we've got those uh, 12 boxes highlighted. We go back to our home page and using this tool here, which is borders, we choose all borders. Not outside borders, not thick outside borders, all borders. And you'll see that that turns them black. Okay, next step. What we would like to do now is cover the whole sheet um, with a fill color so that all that appear are the two. Uh, lots of uh, sheets that have the cheese under them. So we're clicking into this corner here and highlighting on, by clicking on this triangle the whole sheet. Then moving our cursor into the middle, we right click, format cells, click on fill, and I'm going to choose a color. And you'll see what that does is only leave us with a sheet with a sheet of paper over our, our pictures and some grid lines. Next part of the equation is to be able to type our questions or copy and paste our questions into each of these cells. So when the answer is put in the corresponding cells, the picture will appear. I'll give you an example. So I'm going to choose. 20 times 30. I'm going to put that in here. Oops. I'll 
make it, I'll just type it, 20 times 30 equals. Now I want to, I want to uh, adjust that into the center and I want to have it in the middle there by using the two alignment buttons here. Now the answer to 20 by 30 is 600. So when somebody types 600 in this cell, I want part of the picture to appear. And I do that by clicking on the A1 cell, going to conditionally formatting it. The cell that's highlighted, I want to be equal to 600. And if it is equal to 600, going to custom format, I want there to be no color and okay. So you see if I type in this cell, 600 enter, it will reveal part, part of the block of cheese. And I'm going to do that for the next six questions. I'll show you one more in this cell. So you can see this cell corresponds to this cell, this cell corresponds to this cell, this cell, etc. So I'm going to make one here. So using my second question, a mouldy type of cheese. Go back here, uh, mouldy Again, I want to align them, and the answer here is blue. So, clicking on this cell, the conditional format equal to blue, custom format, no color, and OK. So I know if I type blue in here, press enter, another part of the puzzle will be revealed. Welcome back. Now to finish the, uh, the game that we're going to develop is I've finished topping up my three questions, which for you will be six. I've formatted my cells and I've put a little bit of a um, introductory statement there about what the students have to do when they play each other's games. Now, the one thing we don't want to happen is for students to be able to click on the cell and change the question. So what we need to do is highlight the cells that can be changed, in, as in their answer being written in them. Go to Format Cells, click on Protection, and unlock those cells. Then, <coughs> pardon me, Clicking on the page, uh, sorry, the review, we want to protect the whole sheet. But we can either put a password, I'll put password 9, but we want all users of this worksheet to be able to select unlock sheets but not locked cells. So we click OK, put in the password again, and what will that that what that will do is now I can click on any of the cells I can want to answer a question in, but I can't change the questions anywhere or click on any other cell because the rest of the sheet's protected. So no one will be able to wreck the game that you've developed. Make sure you save, have someone play it, and then you can upload it 